Good afternoon, Rudy Khan here with Tech Out. Today is Tuesday, June 30th, so it has been just over one week since WWDC 2020 and all the betas um, were released. Um, I've been using every beta on all my devices, Mac OS, TV OS, iPad OS, iOS, and Watch OS 7, and I just wanted to go over the stability, performance, battery life, and any of the um, issues I have, which are actually very few for a first beta. Um, there are a few, um, few minor issues that should be resolved here in the next update. Um, the main one I noticed is if we go into storage here, um, there are two storage bugs, one being that if we go into messages here and try to review large attachments, it crashes the settings app. Another being that um, there is a large amount of other usage that I don't really know what it is, but if we scroll down here to the bottom, we can see other is using 24.15 gigabytes, and that does vary, um, it goes up and down. So. If you had, uh, if you didn't have very much free space, you may have some issues on this beta with that, but that should be fixed in the next beta. There were a lot of people reporting it, um, and it does say that a potential fix has been identified for a future release. Um, so hopefully in beta two, we'll see that next week, and we'll see that kind of stuff fixed. Really, I haven't had any other major issues. I haven't had any apps crash for the apps that I'm using. Um, I haven't had any battery life issues. My phone is actually doing very, very good on battery. Um, I can get through the day with about half. Uh, battery left and that is with some pretty heavy usage um, sometimes if I'm at work during the day I don't even charge my phone at night um, I can actually get through almost two days with just um, some quick charges in the car when I plug it into CarPlay and stuff like that um, watch US 7 has been pretty good um, there are a few people reporting some bugs in there with some heavy battery usage I'm not seeing that um, so I'm not having any issues with that um, I'm using it for the sleep tracking and I will just charge it at night before I go to bed, then I'll take it off and it will last me through the next day. Um, and again, about an hour before bed, I'll plop it on the charger and that usually gets it back up to 100% and ready for the night again. Performance in iOS uh, 14 has been great. Um, no stutter, none of that stuff that we usually see in the first beta. Everything is very fluid and fast and it, it's just working. Um, so hopefully we continue to see that throughout the beta process um, and into the public launch um, in September. Um, like I said, most of the apps have not been, or none of the apps have been updated to take advantage of iOS 14 yet, um, and that won't happen until it is publicly released. Um, but hopefully, when that happens, we'll start to see more widgets um, and stuff that can take advantage of those new iOS 14 features. Um, so far, though, like I said, Beta 1 has been great. Very, very few issues. There's always going to be some bugs in a beta, but this is probably one of the more stable betas that I've been a part of in the past few years. Um, and that goes for tvOS, macOS, and iPad OS as well. Um, very stable betas and everything is just working pretty well. No, nothing to complain about much other than what I just said about those few things crashing um, and some other minor annoyances like the weather widget sometimes will show the wrong location um, but that can easily be reset and fixed and it's been working well now so we're all good on that. But I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and as always, have a great day.